Welcome to Tiger Bridge. In this video, we will demonstrate using Adobe Premiere with Tiger Bridge for extended video editing capabilities through the cloud. For that purpose, we have prepared a virtual machine and installed Premiere on top of it. Adobe Premiere is designed to work off a local drive and or network shares. Local drives and network share storage are expensive in the cloud, they offer limited performance, and aren't easy to access globally in a secure manner. We have prepared a storage bucket instead and put some video files inside. If we click to open this TT Demo Media Bucket, we can see the files and folders that we have available there. Google Cloud Storage Buckets are far more cost effective to store lots of videos. They scale in performance and can be shared globally and securely. Adobe Premiere cannot connect to a Google Cloud Storage Bucket directly. Tiger Bridge enables Premiere running on a VM to seamlessly connect to a shared storage bucket. Now, we have to open Tiger Bridge and add a new local source. Let's take a look at the current setup of the VM. It currently only has a C drive that is pretty much empty. It only has the operating system files and folders. We have just deployed the machine. We will create one more directory and name it data. We will be using this directory as a source. Going back to Tiger Bridge, we will add that data directory as a source and will fill in the details for the Google Cloud Storage Bucket that we will use as a target. We can then list buckets and select the one that holds our video files and click Apply. We are ready to resume the work of Tiger Bridge, and as soon as we do that, we will see that the data directory's file structure gets populated from the cloud. We can open Adobe Premiere and create a new project now. We will name it Demo Project and save it in the data directory. Anything saved in the data directory is automatically written back to the cloud. We can then import some of the media from the same directory to Premiere. We can see that this file, for example, currently occupies no space on the local drive. The size on disk is zero. However, it is still usable on demand. By dragging three of these files to Premiere, we can start our project. The files become usable in Premiere immediately. We do not need to wait for the full files to get downloaded. TigerBridge downloads the needed parts of the files when they're needed to enable smooth cooperation between Premiere and Google Cloud. We can drag the files into the timeline as we would normally do in the beginning of video editing process. We can arrange, rearrange, and edit them as needed. TigerBridge enables multiple editors to work on separate timelines from different regions to access the same video content. If we scroll somewhere to the middle of the file, we can see that it plays smoothly, both audio and video, and we can do what's needed. Even if the internet connection isn't very fast, Tiger Bridge will cache the video data locally, so next playback will be even smoother. Tiger Bridge allows Premiere to edit directly from the storage bucket. It only requires a very small amount of local storage to use as a cache. We can now save and close our project. Going back to this file, if we right-click it and select Properties, we can see that only a certain part of the file is downloaded, still not the full file. This other file, for example, got fully downloaded simply because it's a small file. Now, we'll open another project file that has been created somewhere else by someone else. When it opens, we can see it has several layers and uses different media files. We would like to make a change to this project, and for that purpose, we will add this Blackmagic video to the timeline at the end of the project. Take a note that its total size is 112 gigabytes. Our local drive is smaller, but we can still use this Blackmagic file because of the fact that Premiere doesn't need to download the full file when working with Tiger Bridge. Going back to our project, we can still scroll and edit as needed. The videos play as expected. Eventually, we can save and close the project to continue working with it somewhere else later. We're done with this machine. Tiger Bridge makes it fast and easy to fire up a VM, access huge library of videos, do some work, and then destroy that VM. Just make sure your work is already replicated to the cloud. Our replication policy has already replicated our changes, so we can now dispose this virtual machine by going to the Google Cloud Portal and clicking the Delete button for the VM. 
Destroying the VM deletes the local drive, but does not delete the newly created project that has already been replicated to the storage bucket. After a couple of seconds, the machine is terminated and we can launch a new one to simulate remote collaboration by picking up the project from another location. We have to select our template, region, and wait for the machine to be created. That takes a couple of minutes before we see it available. Once we log in, we can create a new directory within the C drive again and configure Tiger Bridge to use it as a source. We will set it up to use the exact same bucket as a target and resume its work. We can see that the contents of the bucket are available again within this new machine. We can click to open the project we worked on. When it opens, everything is exactly where we left it. The video files are loaded to the timeline and we can carry on with our video editing tasks. This concludes the demo of showing how Tiger Bridge can help for smooth integration between Adobe Premiere and Google Cloud. Tiger Bridge enables secure collaborative workflows to take place globally while greatly reducing cost of storing and sharing lots of videos and increasing available performance. Tiger Bridge can be used similarly for collaboration between other software products and the cloud as well. Thank you for viewing.